Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my new tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I use Lightroom and Photoshop to retouch an exterior image. On the right side, you can see a raw image from a camera and on the left side, the finished retouched image. Uh, let's go ahead and open Lightroom. So, I'm going to show you the two images that, that I've taken. Um, I took these two photos in uh, two different exposures to get different areas exposed and I merged it in Photoshop later. The one on the right is less exposed and the one on the left side is a little bit more exposed. So let's go ahead and go to develop and we're going to remove the uh, chromatic aberration and also enable profile corrections you can see this is pretty cool you can see the before and after and then we're going to straighten the vertical lines here uh, you can use the vertical option but sometimes it doesn't work like you can see here so in this case we're going to use guided so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do here is to find vertical lines here and then apply those you can see the magnifying glass yes it makes it easier to to draw the lines here uh, what I normally do is find a vertical line on the left side and the right side okay done as you can see um, as you can see all the lines are sh straightened so I'm gonna crop this uh, image And here, um, on this part, you can change the exposure of the entire image. Uh, contrast, highlights, shadows, uh, clarity, vibrance, etc. Um, most often times I apply the radial filters. These radial filters, um, you can apply them to adjust individual parameters so I'm gonna since we have two images we're gonna cinch the uh, other image too so they're both exactly the same I'm just I'm just gonna show you like real quick uh, how I have done this but then I have already done this uh, which I didn't record so I'm gonna show you the two images that I already prepared so you can see that I have applied a lot of radial uh, filters on one of the images yeah you can change the contrast shades blacks Once you're done with this, uh, we go ahead and export these two images. So in this Photoshop part, I won't be able to show every single step, but I'm going to fast forward this and comment every once in a while. Let's go ahead and open these two files uh, in Photoshop. The next step, uh, you need to place one image over the other image. In order to do this, you need to hold the shift button. I'm gonna crop the image a little bit. I'm gonna use a clone tool to clone the empty areas on the right and left side. Up next, I'm going to remove some sensor spots or some dirt spots and other uh, unwanted uh, elements that I don't want in, it, in my image.
I'm going to apply a mask on the uh, upper image and then brush in some of the um, areas that I want from this image. Next up, I'm going to merge these two images and I'm going to remove more unwanted elements uh, in the image. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so here are the two images again uh, in comparison and before and after.